ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuned in to the hottest podcast on the internet, All Raw Opinions. Come on. Norma, I see you. Welcome to Our Raw Opinions, Episode 7, Part 2 with Detective Carrillo. Part 2. Yes. Gil, thank you for being here again. Part 2. So yes. now, the Night Stalker's caught. Yes. All that's over with. All the stuff. The Netflix came out. It was an awesome, awesome documentary, by the way. I loved it. So now, fast Before forward. Before we start, hold on. I'm going to interrupt you. Oh, of course. we got to take the shot. Oh, chill. Because we've been through some craziness Our with podcast you. I, not- I really didn't want to, but... <laughs> Hey, our podcast would be, would be nothing without alcohol, right? No, and yeah. you know what? Fucking the normal. Night Stalker um, show's been crazy. It has been. Hey, crazy. may I say, I, Madre Maria, yo no quería, pero hay Padre Nuestro. <laughs> padre Nuestro, que bueno que es esto. Santificado sea tu nombre. Here you go. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> All right. So, well, oh, that ain't bad. Yeah, that was pretty That's good. good stuff. Mm-hmm. Got you. I, I get pena. Yeah. I get pena. <laughs> and by the way, that was Quita Pena's yeah, tequila. Yeah, that was, that was good yeah. tequila. So back yeah. what I was saying before we started taking <laughs> Sorry, this. we had to take a shot. We have to take so the shot. So now we're on part two of episode seven. You know, so fast forward, the nice soccer was caught. So now it's 2003. I'm sorry, 2000. See? This freaking <laughs> alcohol, man. <laughs> now, <laughs> now it's 2023. What is Gil Carrillo up to now? Yes, tell us. I see you've been on the George Lopez podcast show. What's I, going on? What else are you me, doing? Yeah, what, let, let tell me tell us what's you. Up. The, the night with the documentary, right? Yes. I, I, I told uh, the director, uh, Tiller Russell, who is a great man, just the nicest guy in the world. Shout out to Tiller Russell. Yep. Shout out to Tiller Russell. Uh, when we started this thing, I said, he said, this is what I want to do with it, with the documentary. I said, I don't want to know what you want to do with the documentary. You are the professional. I'm not. I'm right. just the talking head. And I don't want to know any, I don't want to be a part of any of the cutouts, any of the edits, any of, any of it. And he said, I said, I'll watch it when it drops like everybody else. Right. The night that it dropped, he said, he called me up and he said, it's about to drop tonight. Oh, wow. He said, all I can say is, enjoy the ride. And it was, what do you mean? He said, enjoy the ride. Right. Hung up. I watched the documentary with my wife. Hmm. We binged it that first night, midnight, four hours. Wow. And I cried. Of course. I laughed. Right. And then I apologized to my wife uh, for reasons that I explained in the part one, part one, yes, uh-huh. you know, she went through a lot and I didn't understand it. So I apologize. I beg for forgiveness. And then about two weeks later, I called up the director and I said, I can't thank you enough. It came out much better than I ever anticipated. Right. Made me cry, made me laugh. And I told him what part made me cry. And, and I emphasized to him that all I ever wanted to do in life was make my dad proud of me. Of course. And, and he was proud when you got that award. Subliminally, mm-hmm. when I saw the pictures that came up in the documentary, mm-hmm. I knew my dad was proud of me. Yes. Yeah. I said, so now I know my dad was proud. And he told me as a director, he says, you know, when we were doing the rough cuts, he says, we're showing it in the room. And when it showed that picture of you and your dad. which You know that made me cry? It made me cry. <laughs> because you said that was the only time your dad told you he was proud of you. And it he, shows your mom and dad and you with an award. And you said that was the only time my dad told me. I my was dad proud of told me. me he was proud of me. I, I was, I'll, I'll never And I it. made me like chills even now just thinking it gets my eyes water because you said that was the only time my dad told me he was proud of me. My dad, he, he the director said when that part came out, I stopped the movie, I turned on the lights. Everybody in the room was crying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I bet. I did. And <laughs> so I says, I knew then we had a winner. Right. Mm-hmm. So 
We watched it, and he said, enjoy the ride. I never asked him anything else. I watched it, and then all of a sudden, I started getting hundreds of requests. Thousands of requests. Is on Instagram? Instagram, or- on Facebook. Everything. Everything. Yeah. People from around the world. Wow. And I told my wife, I, I, unless there's some specific reason why I can't, because there were some people that were coming on there that were just uh, Richard Ramirez fans and That's saying, crazy. I should be dead and he should be alive. They didn't oh. understand. So I certainly I wouldn't, re- I wouldn't add them to my, but I said, unless they had something definitive, I added them because I don't want people to think that I'm arrogant or I'm an asshole. And you're right. not. No, you're not. I, I don't want to ever be that to anybody because I am just, as you'd say in the neighborhood, I'm just Hanthe. I'm, I'm nothing yes. special. Of course. I'm no better than anybody, anybody yeah. else. You know why? Because it takes someone special like you to do what you do. Of course. It's not well, anybody that does what you well, do. Well, yeah. well thank you. be a special I, person I, to do I, what I you thank do. you. <laughs> so I, I did it. So I started responding to these things. And since then, I've had... People from all over the world mm-hmm. ask me to be Zoom personal, do mm-hmm. this, do that. I've wow. done television for Australia, for Canada. I've been on Dr. Oz. Uh, Dr. Oz, really? Yes. And, wow. and, and so other television shows, I, I forget the, uh, the lady, the... There's an African American lady that has a big television show during the day, and I can't remember. Her Oprah? Name. No, not <laughs> Oprah. Uh, <laughs> and I, I just can't remember her name, Ooh, and I apologize. We'll, and I, I we'll sincerely, I sincerely apologize for her because yeah. I have brain fart. It was probably that last shot of tequila. That's the only reason. <laughs> That's I can't. okay. You know what? Because it quita, it quita penas. Yeah. It quita tus penas. <laughs> so, uh, I've spoken. All over the U.S. Uh, within the last couple of years, I've been to Chicago, Miami, Wow, uh, Phoenix, San Diego, Seattle. Can you take your nieces and nephews? <laughs> yeah, I can take I want. I'm and getting now ready. you're in Mission Viejo. Now you're in Mission Viejo, South I'm County. The, I'm, Orange I'm County. The top. <laughs> I'm in Orange County. I just made reservations yesterday. I'll be going to Delaware in a couple of oh, wow. uh, oh, in wow. April. What are you going to be doing in Delaware? Speaking. At, nice. uh, about University. the Night Stalker? Just... Yeah, yeah. Speaking wow. about the Night Stalker, I was in Seattle. People ask me to go speak. I've been in Vegas. I, I've just been all over, and I've done a lot of stuff. Uh, I have a pod. I have a Zoom coming up Monday nine o'clock in the morning. I couldn't make it. There's a somebody wanted me to do a podcast in Santa Cruz. Uh, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, uh, I can't make it up to Santa Cruz because you were reserved for us. <laughs> exactly. Okay, sorry. So um, Santa all Cruz, <laughs> our Santa, opinions. Santa Cruz is flying down. Mm-hmm. We've we've got a room in the Marriott Hotel someplace right. in Ontario. So they're coming down to me. So I've just done so much. I'm What's so, a blessing? What a blessing for you. What a blessing. I, I'm God grateful. Is good. But you're busy. Uh, yeah, you're, you're busy. busy. I, yeah. I, I was busy. telling my pops. I was like, hey, he's a busy man. I hope I can get him on. No, I, I, I am busy. We didn't think he would come. You know why I, we said, oh, well, mejor he's not going to come. He's too busy. No. He has a red carpet. We don't have a red carpet, but no. we got tequila. We what got he, food. What, what, he we does got... Have, what he does have is he's got his dad as my compadre. Yeah. And hey, let's, then, well, guess what? Then when you add that to tequila and wine. <laughs> well, guess what? You've no? just been adopted as my tío. There you go. You're, Mija, not my, you're, not my, you're not my friend. You're my tío now. Mija, I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> So <laughs> life has been good. Yeah, I, and, and I've I've no, I've watched you on the George Lopez show. Like I want to I want to hear what how do you how did that come about? Like George you, Lopez, uh, George Lopez, uh, in my heart, uh-huh. in my mind, a man who's seventy three years old who has been around the wait, world. Wait, wait, he's seventy three. I am. Oh, oh, I'm like I'm seventy three years old. You're not seventy three. Yes, I am. You don't look seventy three. God bless you. I must owe you money. You are not 73. Oh. I'm sorry. You are not 73. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, unfortunately. Detective Gill, you are not 73 years old. Okay, I stopped lying to you. <laughs> I'm only 65. <laughs> okay, you can tell me 63 and I'll believe you, but not 73. Okay, 63. Who's that Team lying, piece? Oh Who's that lying piece of shit that said I was 65? <laughs> Anyways, I think the tequila is getting us here. No, so. I'm just like... <laughs> 
<laughs> so I, 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 I sit there and I, yeah. I go through all of this stuff yeah. and I'm just a lucky man. George, what yeah. happened was I had no idea. George is a true crime fanatic. Oh, and, okay. and I and I didn't understand that. All of a sudden, I have a friend calls me up, personal friend called me up and said, Hey, Gil, I just heard on the radio that George Lopez said, Anybody know Gil Carrillo? Give him a call. Here's the right. number. So I called it up, left the message. Next thing I know, George called me back. George invites me out to go golfing. I don't golf. <laughs> and then he says, Hey, how about coming down and having a beer? Well, as we can see. Yeah, George Lopez beer. I'll have a beer. Yeah. This is what we drink on on the podcast. Yeah. George Lopez says, hey, come on down and have a beer. I said, I can do that because I'm nobody special. You no, know, you're, so you I, are somebody so special. You are special to us. And not just that, I knew we knew that you were drinking these. So you yeah. can just order these shit anywhere. You no. have to go. And yeah. you know, we, we've been to his brewery a few times, but we decided to buy you his brew, his drink, because this is what you drink. This is the only beer I drink. I, yeah. so I don't tell, drink. Tell George that, hello, and plus, we brought his beer because this is all you drink. I, I will <laughs> let George know. Tell shout, so shout George, George no, 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 no. Tell Theo George. Theo George. <laughs> tell my Theo George que le compré su cerveza. Look, I, <laughs> shout, shout out to George Lopez. I know he's going through shout a lot. Shout out to I'm just going to say that. We got George on this but side. We're, keep a chin we're on up, George. buddy. Everything's good. Hey, we're Let's on go. George's George side. Going Move on. A lot. We got a chin up, and this is for George. God this bless him. This is for George. And all the George tequila love. shots is for George Lopez. I love, I love <laughs> George Lopez. Que mande todos a la chingada, but we are yeah, on exactly. George's side. Exactly. I, I love George Lopez. Yeah. Uh, how is it on his podcast? How does it How does it feel to be on his podcast? I know. And you how guys, is it? George invited me down. I had no idea when I first went down there that it was going to be a podcast. I thought I was going down to have a beer with him. What did right. he say? Because first he invited me down to go golfing. I said, I don't golf, George. I'll, I'll turn into comedian. You'll laugh at my ass. <laughs> so he said, how about coming down and having a beer? So I said, I ain't going to go have a beer with you guys. Yeah. I went down there. When I walked into the place, it's a nondescript building. Just with the number address on the front. Just the number. Just the number. So I walk into the door. The door lets me in. I go in there. Now you got to be buzzed oh, right, the rest of the way. Aquí no. Aquí, Aquí no. entras lo que tú quieras. So I go in there. It's a studio. Oh, nice. And I said, where do I sit? He said, come on over here. Go into a room. He said, sit right there in front of the mic. Oh, just so like I that. Said, I had no idea it was a podcast. Right. I did no, did not know anything. No practice, right. no nothing. No nothing. run, nothing. Bobby Lee, who was a comedian from, uh, uh, he was eight years, he was on Mad TV. Oh, yes, I he remember He was on Mad, Mad TV. TV. Great guy, funny guy. It's George, Bobby, myself, and the producer, and so we just start talking. It's just bullshit, just like we're sitting here just right now. The shit, yeah. shit. Shit, shit. And it was a fun thing to do. Two hours later, he says, okay, that's it. Nobody ever said, quiet on the set. Are we rolling? Are we doing yeah, this? Just, just sit right there in front of the mic and talk. Kind of like us. We're keeping it raw. Exactly. Raw keeping opinion. it raw. Oh, it is what it is. <laughs> so I was invited back. I said, hey, I can't do it for the next couple of weeks. I'm busy. You know, I have other Commitments. stuff going. And he says, it's okay. Yeah. So then I went back and we just, uh, the first show I went on was episode number 11. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, that's, that's a pretty. And now we're like on. You're on seven we, and that was 11. We, we just dumped <laughs> number 96 the other wow. day. What? And I've been on all but three of them with him because I had other commitments. All right. And so it's been great. George has been good to me. I'll tell you what, Gil. I, I, I've i watched you guys' podcast, and you guys make a good team, man. Like You're pretty funny. Yeah. I like uh, you on there. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good, you, you guys are a good matchup. And, you hey, know. Hey, Gil, you know you're not going to be the last time you're going to be on here, right? <laughs> I, it won't be. I'll come back next time. Yeah. There, I know, no because doubt. you know where we have to finish that bottle at the at Quita Penas. Jeez. That's right. That was we pretty do. smooth, huh? It was. You're good, girl. <laughs> you know why? Let me you're tell good. you the trick. Because it's 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 chilled. Girl, you're good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't care if it's chilled or not. You're I just know, good. I know I am because did, I'm a tequila expert. <laughs> did you think? Did you think like okay, like you just were solving pretty much the the most craziest uh, murder case ever. Now you're gonna be on the most funniest guys you know podcast I ever. Know. Like, how did you go from 
holy shit, I'm solving people who, this guy who murders Craziness. Everybody. And now I'm over with funny as hell. Comedian. Like, how does that? How does that go? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just feel, I, I'm lucky. I'm blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Yes. I, I You're really very was. blessed. You know, it, it was just uh, probably about four months ago. I told a wife, because of cir- circumstances around my house. Yeah. I just told her, let's just get away for the weekend. Oh, that's sweet. Let's go to Vegas. Right. George is performing. I said, let's go, go see George. Right. Yeah. And so she, she agreed, let's go. And so I told George, probably a couple of weeks ahead of time, I said, hey, you know what? I may see you up there. I said, I told the wife, we ought to just get away. Just go up there. Just her and I by yeah. ourselves because- I know she wants me so bad. Damn. That's what he says, too. My, my other half says that same thing. He wants me so, all the time. So <laughs> we went up. So I get a call a couple of days before going up there, and it's George's personal assistant said, hey, are you going up to Vegas? And I said, yes, I am. She said, okay. Everything will be taken care of. You know, just contact this guy when I get right. up there. Right. So I get up there. I'm a little bit out. It's his... Travel manager. So next thing I know, the travel manager meets me at the valet parking, takes our baggage. I don't have to check into the room. You're good. They've already done it. And we go right up to this room. It's it's a suite. Damn. Wow. That's what hey, I said. Theo, like, yeah. take me with you, Theo. <laughs> and, and, and there's, I like blackjack. I, I'm really good at blackjack. There's Theo. a bunch of fruit in there. <laughs> and he's taking care of us. And I'm sitting there a little while later. I'm sitting in the room, and I know we got, and we've already got seats for the comedy right. show. Oh, you do? Oh yeah. Oh, this is all the package. And my wife looks at me, and I got tears coming down my cheeks. Aww. And she says, "What's wrong? This should be good." I said, "You don't understand. I don't know what I've done in life to deserve this." You're, oh, you, you know what? No, You're you... amazing. And, and yeah. so here I am. Here we are doing this. We got this. We got that. And what did I do to deserve all that? You're I've done special. Everything. You know what? It t- like I told Ron, told you, <laughs> it takes someone special to do what you do. Everybody can be what you what you've done. And not just because of the night stalker. I'm sure you've solved many cases in your in your field in your time of being a detective. I right? hope my wife's listening to you. She is listening. She is listening. Okay, I, I, I hope. But she I does. mean, I know that you probably put her through hell because you know what? You probably took a lot of time of her. T- a lot of time out of family time and parties Pearl and events. Pearl is over there doing the thumbs up. Pearl's putting your thumbs up, but <laughs> yeah. you know what? This Pearl is the time is where you're making yeah. it up for her. Shit, I let her live in my house for free. But I'm going to tell you something. Diamonds are a woman's best friend. You cannot go wrong. And giving her a credit card to shop, I will take her shopping. <laughs> let me tell you, a day with Pearl, she would love it. I will take her All right, shopping. Cut. Cut. No, 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 <laughs> cut. I will yeah. take pro shopping. She will have a blast. I've liked you more chops than I have her. I'll <laughs> tell you right Theo. now. Theo Gill, let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, here, this, is, this is what I'm saying. We drink on, on raw opinions. and We drink because you know what? We're the celebrating. The Norma the comes out. Here Cabrón, we go. listen. Here we go. We're celebrating <laughs> Detective Gill. He earned the detective. And I'm going to tell call you that because out of respect. Yes, well, of course. You. Because you know what? That shit... Not everybody can be a detective. Of course not. Y muy chingo que eres, Detective Actually, Gil wait, Carrillo. I some mean, of you come girls on. can be very good detectives, though. I will say that. Oh, I'm gonna tell you something <laughs> better than the FBI. If, if, if this... I've had one of my best, one of my, one of my sharpest partners was a female. Let me tell you, if King Cholo tries to get out of line, cabrón better not, because I will find out every little hair. Yes, you will. <laughs> Oye, es King Cholo, no te chingando, hombre. No chingas, King Cholo, porque te chingo y te mando a la verga. <laughs> Elia sabe, pero you know what? I love him to death. I love God bless you. But, but I will I kill him. him. I will kill him if he does anything. I will fucking. Muchos años con él, but I love him. But look. You're going to end up killing him, and he's going to be the detective. Person. You. <laughs> and, and you know what? You are special. As much as you well, say thank not, you. And you're blessed. Like you said, I don't know. Yeah. You, you cry. It's emotional. But you know what? You've earned where you're at. Of course. And thank you're, you. And, and yeah, you get emotional because George has invited you, but you earned where you're at. Like, no, I mean, for sure. It doesn't, it's not easy. Everything you've done and all the hard work, the sacrifices, the the late nights, the, the, the times you weren't with your family. Right. I mean, the times that you got home late and the times you didn't spend with your family, period. And you just, any t- all that, all that. Now you're finally enjoying your time yes. with your wife right 
and you're 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 going to Vegas and do little things. I mean, it, it paid off. It paid off, yeah. and you're being blessed. I don't know. God's good. If if Pearl agrees, if Pearl will agree because up, Pearl? you know what? Yeah. It's Pearl's time now. Pearl's time with you now. It's Pearl's. It's Pearl's time. It's yeah. Pearl time, and you know what? I agree a hundred percent. It's Pearl time. Yeah. So whatever Pearl says. It's a go. Yeah. So you should ever say no. <laughs> it's never a no. Mira, no te rías, tío. Look it. She put up with a lot of bullshit because yeah. she had I'm, to raise I'm, kids while you were working. I know, eh? And that shit, eh, hey, hey, that shit ain't easy. Let me tell you, these little devils are not easy. I know, these huh? Little mother- <laughs> hey, these little motherfuckers are not easy. They're little assholes. I know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So, on raw opinions, uh, we drink a lot of tequila here, and we're we all We do drunk. drink a lot of tequila, but Theo yeah. Gill, it's, no. it really is hard. No. It's not, it is but, hard, but, it, but back on the subject. On the subject of, <laughs> of, of going to Las Vegas with. Yes. No. So, life life after the documentary, you're doing all this stuff with George Lopez. You got the, the hotels. You're I being think, called out all over the world yes. to be uh, um, yes, behind there. Do you, do you miss, um, do you ever, like, miss the detective work? Or are you? Just oh yes, like, I do. Oh, you do. Oh, I do. The, the, no doubt about it. I keep in touch with a good friend of mine, Bill Hagmeyer, who is a retired FBI agent. Nice. Right. And 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 we touch, you know, through emails. We we touch you. He right. he sends me cases, and I've the the Golden State Killer. I was oh, telling, and I'm I'm telling George, I'm telling Bill, I'm saying. Bill, goddamn! I wish I was working on this you, case. It's like you just like want to like I want to yeah. go out and do it. And he yeah, says, Gil. You only want to work the case because you still have it in you. You haven't lost. I'm it. sure you're, you you're do. Yeah. And 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 some of those cases still intrigue me. I. I but they call you. They, I'm sure they. You're kind of consultant, maybe sometimes. I do get called to be consulted. Do yeah. they pay you for that? Uh, well, sometimes. I'm asking because I mean, people just, want maybe want to know. Do you get paid for the being a consultant? Who wants Who? to know? I want, right. I'm asking are we for talking, people that are we talking about, shit that I got to report to the IRS? No, we ain't no. talking about IRS. We're do you talking- remember? Do you remember there was a guy called a BTK killer? <laughs> Bind him, torture, kill him. And then your sound, your production man over here, he remembers him. I got called <laughs> to go out there and you know consult with them people. Not only did they call me out to go consulting, they flew me out there, put me up, and about a month. Two months before I was due to arrive, after they were settled up, they arrested him. Oh, and wow. I called Shit. and I and I called him. I said, Hey, you don't need me anymore. You got him in custody. And they said, No, no, we still want you out here. We're putting on a seminar. You're gonna speak. Not only that, Shit. we need hey, he's in custody, but we still need to prepare for prosecution and for all the press and everything else. Right. So they still wanted me out there. So I still get called quite a bit. Right. But I'm asking my question was because I know a lot of people are gonna ask, Do you get paid for that? Well, some you do, some you don't. Okay. Well, <laughs> but if it's if it's going to be on the news, they they don't pay. Why does that matter though, they, Norma? They, because people want to know. Who wants to know? You want to know. <laughs> if there are cases that are unsolved that they want me to consult on and go yeah. out there, then they do pay. So have they called you to do consult? To t- consult? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Remember, I'm your niece, Steel. Okay, don't <laughs> forget that. <laughs> remember, remember. Remember, your Thea sitting over there that wants a cut of the money. That's yeah. okay, and Thea she will get. Hey, go to my, and Thea my, are going to go shopping. We'll, go take shop. you, we'll take your credit card. That's no problem. Me and Thea will go shopping. Let me tell you, your so, credit card will be running a thousand dollars in five minutes. All right, so Queen Chola over here, are you done? <laughs> I had to ask Thea that. Sorry, of course you got to ask the money. That well, what, what is? You know, that's another topic. You know what? People were that's probably wondering. I wonder if he gets paid. I mean, I'm, of course he gets paid. I'm just asking, <laughs> fool. <laughs> Here we are, Chola Live. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, yes, sir. Back to the after the the Gigi after, chops. You know, the, I know chops is what they call me. My family called me that, so he's a lot of chorron. You get, stop it. Anyways, so <laughs> but after so after all that, we we talked about the whole George Lopez. Uh, podcast so do you feel like are you having a good time do you feel like hey you know what i've i've done my my duty yes. as a citizen of the united states now i'm having a good time or how do you feel are you enjoying I, this yeah I, I i will tell you right now that i'm uh public i'm tired. i'm 73 years old and this is man, still young, this yeah. is this is probably the best time of my life that i've had in wow. years I love working with George. Right. It is like, it, it, and I'll tell everybody out there, I went because he called me. Right. But 
I just love being with him. Right. It's like going to a comedy show every oh, week. He, no, he's fucking oh, hilarious. Oh my god, he's probably and, freaking. And, and yet we become we become hilarious. friends. Yeah. He's treated me so kind. He's treated my family so kind. Right. Oh, how sweet. I've seen him treat so many people. This is stuff the public doesn't see. Right. And he's he's a good man. On top of that, now I go to his show. I drink his beer, the <laughs> same beer that I'm drinking today yes. in honor of George Lopez. God yes, bless George him. George Lopez. Yes. Shout out to George Lopez. And, and, and George Lopez. From George Lopez Brewery. Yes. I drink his beer, and then I'm on his show. Right. Yeah. Does it get any better than that? No, it doesn't. No. That's a good time. And you know, you can only get that beer at the brewery. Yeah. It's it's a great time for me. I wanted to make sure you were comfortable. I am comfortable. I know. You want more tequila? You know I got you. Uh, Jefe el chingón. El chingón. And George Lopez el chingón. And I'm the chingón. I don't think you need any more tequila, Norma. (laughs) You know what, Raul? You act like you can drink tequila, but I think think you're... I don't know. Hold on. We're going to we're gonna, hey, we're gonna have some chingasos. This is like this is like wrestling. Hell we're gonna yeah. have chingasos right, right here we're on TV. Do more, you know what's funny, Gil? Like w- this is our seventh episode, and this is my my one of my best friends' girl, right? Like that's my buddy over there. And I'm your best friend too, fool. I, I've noticed that you're not, but it's like this is my work wife right here, and I'm I'm understanding what my boy goes through now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> my boy, Yo like, mando. Uh, <laughs> I love These you. I love you, King Cholo. I got you, buddy. <laughs> hey, King Cholo's amazing. He's very supportive. That's the nickname I gave him. But <laughs> he's amazing, one hundred and ten percent. He's not a Cholo at all. Yeah, he's just, not a tequila no, person, but no, I am. A, <laughs> I'm a tequila. I take it for. I yeah. take it for it, the team. It yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Le quito los calzones. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Está bien. Está bien, verdad? Yeah. It's okay. So everything's good. So so. Seguro que sure. <laughs> So now we're at 73 years old, you know? Life 63. Is, 63, oh yeah, here we go. You look, you look great, by the way. You look Thank amazing. You, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Got you got cool. hair? Come on now. Hair. So, no, so now, you know, we're at this age. Now you're having a good time. You, you're hanging out with your old buddies. You know, you're over here at the podcast, Our Raw Opinions. Yes. So what do you see even more after this? I mean, do you just keep on going with the flow? Or what, it, what does it, Gil Creole it, it really, do now? It really doesn't yeah. matter. Whatever if happens, ever, happens. If, if, if everything stopped tomorrow, George Lopez, television, mm. you know, because I still get called for documentaries. Things are still in the works. Right. There's programs in the works. Wow. If it all stopped tomorrow. You would be happy. I would be happy. Yeah, you've had a it very good life. It doesn't matter. I, I'm a... I'm I'm a lucky, lucky, blessed man. You're yeah. a lucky son of a. And, yeah, a lucky son of a. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't matter, right? Because yeah. all this came after. After everything. I didn't expect anything. This yeah. is all extra. Yeah. God is good. So God is good. And, and I he... hope God is good for us because I'm telling you, when you start something and we have someone like you on our show. Yeah. It's a blessing for and us. So really quick though, we we're kind of I, I want to say we're the first like South Orange County podcast. Yes. So today you went to Las Brisas. What's the Las Brisas? Laguna Beach. How was that? So no, really quick though. Let me ask you, hold on. How was that? <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> it it sucked. See? It does suck. Thank you. So Thank much. Thank you. <laughs> I could have told you. Las over Brisas here to sucks. Eat. Now, Sorry. now, now, now. Let me give a cover to that okay it sucked because there was no parking yeah okay. there was no valet parking oh. we never got into the place yeah so i don't really give two <laughs> shits what it was like we never got in i could we ended up going to a place their food is eh. we we ended up going and and it wasn't the food that i was after right the accommodations it, it was the ambiance yes you know we on the West side of the 57, don't get this shit up there. Right. Yeah. This was a nice place. La Brisas. I'm bringing my wife to a nice place. We come out here. We didn't get, I said, can I tell you what I said? Fuck them. We're not getting in. Let's get back in the car. We'll go someplace. I asked my copa, where do you want to go? He says, well, we got this place. I said, I'm not asking. I'm I'm telling you, tell me where to drive. Tell me where to go. He took me to the American Legion. Legion. Veterans, the for uh, what is that Balboa Island? Yeah, Balboa. Yeah, nice. And and it wasn't the ambiance was it was. I'm a veteran, right? I'm a member of an American Legion and the VFW. It was so nice over there, right? Being with being with my compa, 
Right. And your stepmom, Terry, right. over there, right. my old friend from high school. Right. I mean, from shit, I knew school? shit from kindergarten. Wow. Yeah, kindergarten. Uh, from yeah. about first grade. They all grew. First grade? Yes. Did you pay attention to yes. the first episode? You were on it. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> Terry, I remember Terry the first time she took her calzones off in the third grade. <laughs> so. Oh, she had mocos in her nose. Oh, too. yeah. Oh, man, Terry. So, so <laughs> it, it was just a great day. Yeah, a lot uh, better. A lot of friendships. Long, long well, welcome friendship. to South Orange County, though. It didn't well, matter where County. we were at. Yeah. It didn't matter where we were at. You, we were, we're still, with friends. We're still ghetto, ghetto here. We're still hood. <laughs> we're still hood in South County. Let yeah, me tell you. Yeah, with, with some wine glasses or what? You know what? So, whatever, whatever <laughs> Gil wants, he gets. No, we're all transplants out here, but whatever you want, we get. We get. But you, you know here. what, Gil? I'll, I'll, I want to say thank you so much for coming. Beyond out. thank you, yes. we we are so blessed to have you here because you know what? Someone special again, like you. Whether you want to say you're not special, you are special to us. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming yes. out. And it's Detective it's, Gil Carrillo is on our show. Thank, yeah. thank you, you for having me. Opinions. Thank you for having me. If there's Anytime I can come back, oh, we'll, I'd love to. Oh, and we you, will have you're you You're going to see us evolve, though. This is only our seventh episode, Gil. Yeah, so, you'll see us evolve. And for you to come out here, and if anybody, I'm going to say right now on air, Gil Carrillo is helping out Latinos. He's helping out Chicanos. Yes. He is doing that. Yeah, and I'm a Latina yeah. starting my show podcast. So I don't hear no shit. He's my, my boy. <laughs> and Detective yeah. Gil Carrillo on our show. is is he He did it. Yes, he did it. Thank and you. he was not scared of the fucking Night Stalker. <laughs> Let me tell you, he was not scared. So you people the that were scared, over here. the Chingon was not scared. Yes. Thank he you, was everybody, on our for raw, And he came on our raw pins. And he came on our raw And we pins. literally are just starting, and he still came on. He still came on, because he's a Chingon, yes. that's why. And that's he's going to come back. Because you know hey. what? He's my Theo now. Let me tell you. <laughs> hey, he can I say one Can yes, I say one thing? Of course, we got time. I want to raise my glass. George Lopez. George Lopez. God bless him. We support you. We're behind you. Yes. Absolutely. 100% George. Hang in there, brother. I'm going to say this right Hang now. Hang in there, brother. Really quick for George Lopez, I support you. 100%. Yep. 100%. Brother. Latinos yeah. forever. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gil Carrillo, for coming on the show. Thank Good you, job. Gil. Thank you, Gil. Our, yeah. Our raw opinions. Thank you.